Hello YouTubers! Today we're going to look at how to configure the in-game gun to match your physical VR gun stock. I'll be using the Cobra Elite V2 uh, and the game is Contractors VR. Let's get started by opening up the settings menu and going to devices. In there you can see the virtual uh, gun stock settings which you can ignore but you'll need to make sure you have the physical stock option enabled. Then you can go ahead and click Calibrate Gunstock. This menu lists all of the guns in the game, including both the World War II guns and the standard guns. Simply select one of the guns that you use in one of your loadouts and then go down and click Recalibrate. That will give you a menu of instructions, we'll cover those in a second. You'll see that the gun you have selected has been loaded and is sitting next to your controllers. Bring the controllers up to your stock and you can start to have a look at how things line up. You'll see that as you move your thumbsticks you're either rotating around a fixed point or moving the offset uh, or relative position of the gun in relation to your main grip hand. I like to also check where the butt of the rifle is in relation to the one on the gun stock. The main aim here is to get the most natural sight picture when the gun stock feels in its natural firing position. Again I'm just checking that it all feels well lined up before finally squeezing both controller triggers to exit the configuration. If you wish you can mark that as the universal configuration for all of the guns but a much better idea is to individually set up each. Here I'm setting up an AK variant as these can be these can vary quite a lot from the M4 style rifle due to the angle of the buttstock. You may find that you have to set it up um, artificially high to make sure you don't have any contact between your VR headset and the gunstock. Here I'm setting up an M4. Uh, try not to get confused uh, as you still have the gun from your loadout on your chest. I find the position of the menu a bit annoying when setting this up. What I like to do here is start by setting up the offset so that the virtual trigger lines up with the one uh, from the controller and go from there. You can see me lining those up there. Again, just making sure that everything feels right and that I've got the gun stuck in a natural shooting position um, and that it's nice and horizontal. Try not to be too put off by the um, offset left of the of the front controller uh, it looks a little bit odd you don't actually have any control um, of the lateral configuration just have to see there they're lined up so in this last clip I'm just setting up one of the more common uh, World War II rifles and as you can see it's really far off by default so it's well worth taking the time to get all of these guns individually lined up You'll notice during all of these that I've been lowering uh, and bringing the gun stock back up to make sure that when it's in my natural shooting position, um, that's where I'm kind of lining it up to. This is a top tip that will make you much more accurate in those snapshots in game. Thanks for taking the time to watch today's video. Uh, as is customary to say, please like and subscribe for more hints and tips as well as uh, hardware reviews and gameplay videos. I'll leave you with some gameplay footage of the COD custom maps available in contractors right now.